hello guys welcome to this channel so in this video i'm gonna try to explain how you can find the lattice parameters from the data obtained from x-ray crystallography so i have uh you know i'm using python and uh, these packages in jupyter notebook and if i run this cell i don't see any errors that means all these packages are installed if you see some kind of error you need to make sure these packages are installed okay i have all my data in this uh, you know excel sheet you can save data in google sheet that's also fine but i have these uh, data here and i can show you that these are the structure i have h k l these are the miller indices for the reflecting planes and the corresponding twice theta for the you know where we see the most intense peak okay and the wavelength for our extra machine is this uh, you know uh, times 10 to the power minus 10 meter so I just wrote down this number and uh, you know the thing is in uh, in my program in this software I need all the angles in uh, radians so I have twice theta here by running this cell I can convert everything to uh, radian and uh, you know I can show you that I have new column all the angles here are in radians okay and I can filter out uh, which rows I want to see for example row 0 to row 4 you can see that H is always 0 that means these planes are 0 KL and if you look carefully l is always two times k so in short these are zero k twice k planes so uh what's the theory behind this uh, process so you know i need to define this uh, uh symbolic python variables uh, in this command and uh you know you can find this formula online or any any x-ray textbook uh you know for monoclinic crystal d is the separation between crystal reflecting crystal planes for which you we see some kind of constructive interference and this is the formula for d again d is the separation between reflecting crystal planes okay a b c they are the lattice parameters and beta is the angle between a and c so for monoclonic crystal we have this formula if h and k both are zero we are left with this formula and bragg's law of reflection is this d sine theta equals n lambda for n equals one and uh, we can get expression for d plug it back here uh, you know one over d square we get this formula and you can see in this formula for example in in my example beta is known we find if we know theta we can find c so we can make a table like this for each theta we find c corresponding c okay so now uh, this uh, 1 over d squared or d h k l d is a function of h k l right so i define this function d h k l and my a b c there uh, and beta they are my uh, you know uh, symbolic python uh, variables so i just define this function I, I can check that for 0 0 2 planes because the uh, first three arguments are hkl for 0 0 2 and beta is say 98.4 or i should provide some radian angle say 1.3 1.3 radian and i can see d squared is like this is uh, you know some number times c squared this is the square in python double star means squared and uh, since i have this expression and i also have d sine theta equals m lambda i can solve for c this is my d d squared and we have expression for d we can solve for c we can do this for all these planes where we have h and k both zero for example i think uh, let me just uh, show those yeah these are these are the planes where h and k both are zero 
so if that's the case uh, I can just uh, you know I, I can check for it if it works so the way this uh, symbolic Python solve works is that I uh, you know I have some expression that must be zero for to solve for C it's like ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero I put that ax squared plus b plus uh, bx plus c here where I have selections and uh, I need to solve for x so I put x here okay so this expression must be zero that's how we solve it and for which value which c we get zero here these are the for these these two c because it's a square we get positive and negative number of course c must be positive it's the length so we take this number okay now uh, we can uh, define uh, some it's, it's, let's say this just a dummy variable so uh, for current purpose uh, is 19 to 34 i think let me check you see from 19 to 34 we have h and k both zero always so these are the planes and for these planes we have these theta and one important point when doing this kind of regression is to ignore small theta angle if possible so we're gonna we're gonna ignore uh, this first term so we're gonna start from 20 if we have lots of data we ignore small angle so if you if i run this there's some error why is there's error because in this line line 11 in this cell i need to solve for c not b in this case so there wasn't any error and you can see line 8 what i'm doing is that i'm pulling a particular row and i'm assigning hkl and theta value and this dash or underscore they're basically something some value that i don't really need and I call DHKL monoclinic and I get this so all this data can be arranged here you know two columns first column is the theta value and second column is the lattice parameter for this uh, particular theta value okay now we want to uh, do some kind of regression method you know uh, we can we want to do some kind of straight line fitting so that we can uh, you know uh, you know uh, say that this is the exact number that we are looking for because you can see we have a number from 12.96 to 13.005 so which one is the actual number we can take the average but regression is kind of always better and uh, okay so this is the function that we're gonna be um, using to uh, do the regression so we have this theta the first column here and those theta goes into the function and gives me some output let me show you so these are the output so these values goes along the x-axis and lattice parameter this 12.96 12.98 they go, go along y-axis and uh, you know this is the plot we get using that okay so this is not cosine squared theta let me pull uh, the label from here uh, so yeah you know and uh, y label is just uh, the lattice parameter c in this case now that i have x and y data i can easily do the linear regression using this uh, function and the intercept is 13.0069 uh, and we can try to uh, plot here uh, it's for C so uh, let's label it C and this is 0 0 um, L plane let me check again is it so yeah 0 0 L so uh, yeah so if I just press enter okay there are some error let me check what's the error uh, slice is not tuple um, I don't really need this right because I do have X and Y I don't need this yeah we, there we go so I have C along Y axis and this is my okay so I should, should change the inset so C here along Y axis after fitting the curve you know 
this cosine square theta over sine theta plus cosine square theta over theta uh, you know it, this seems to be minimum or zero when we have uh, you know exact c value this straight line the inter y intercept of this straight line is my lattice parameter in this case it is 13.006 and um, you know okay so now that we have solved for something we can look for um, other planes for example say 0 uh, 1 2 3 4 here I have H0 but K, L, K and L they are not 0 so from this formula if H is 0 K and L they are not 0 that means first term will be 0 last term will be 0 but we'll, uh, we will have two middle terms that means we will need to solve for B and C simultaneously that can be difficult but we have already found C in that case we can just use the value of C there and solve for only B that is easy so how do we do that so for that it's like from index 0 to index 4 so I just go here from index 0 to index 4 just run this line okay it, it worked it seems it worked but it really didn't properly so we need to solve for uh, let me check B I think yeah B and given value of C is 13.006 so this is how you uh, substitute a value for C here and then uh, solve this whole equation solve yeah, you know you have the equation and you solve for b just press enter i have all the data and uh two axis uh, you know x and y axis now i just i know linear regression and now this this will this will be b my b is like this let me relabel these things uh, and crystal plane is um let me change it kl okay kl or k uh, k twice k i see i think let me check um is it twice k yeah it's always see twice k it's five is ten four eight so it's k comma twice k planes so yeah there you go now we you know since we found c independently we can use that to find b we can continue keep doing this and uh, do some cross checking to find all the lattice parameters in this way thank you for watching the video